teacher talking sports, what it does, what it do, how we live. And let's continue our NFL Mount Rushmore series by position. We're going to end the offensive positions today with centers. So in these, I attempt to name the four best players at each position in NFL history. As a subjective list, let me know in the comments at the end who you would include. Of course, offensive linemen is not easy. There's no statistics like such as quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers, tight ends, even you know sacks, interceptions for defensive linemen, uh, um, secondary tackles, linebackers, where you could use them to help compare players, but I still attempt to do my best. I've done offensive tackles. I've done guards. Let's do centers. I'll name the players in alphabetical order by last name. They are not ranked. I'll name a bunch of honorable mentions at the end as well. Let's start by going way back in the past to Mel Hine. Mel Hine was inducted into the inaugural class of the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1963. He played 15 seasons in the NFL, all of them for the Giants, 170 total games. Uh, he was named three, a five-time first-team All-Pro, 1934-1935, and 1938-1940. to 1940. Won two NFL championships pre the Super Bowl era with the Giants. In 1938 was presented the Joe F. Carr Trophy. Uh, that was given to the league's MVP. He is the only offensive lineman still ever to receive that um, MVP honor. Uh, was a part of the NFL's 1970. 75th anniversary all-time team, their 100th anniversary all-time team, Hall of Fame all-1930s team. Uh, Mel Hines, number seven, is retired by the Giants. Uh, just was an excellent player in the infancy of the league and included on the center's Mount Rushmore. Let's go a little more current, but still back in the past. We got Jim Otto. So Jim Otto actually went undrafted. Uh, but was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1980 on his first ballot. Al Otto played 15 seasons all with the Raiders and started all 210 games in his career. Not only did he start all 210 games in his career, he never missed a game in his career. So for 15 seasons, played in all 14 games every time. Uh, the season was 14 games back then. Uh, he is a one-time AFL champion. His 12 Pro Bowl nods are tied for the third most amongst offensive linemen in NFL history. Meanwhile, uh, that's the most for centers. He was also a 10-time first-team All-Pro, which is the most all-time amongst centers. Uh, Jim Otto was named to the NFL's 100th anniversary all-time team. Um, just an incredible player. Uh, one of the best centers of all time. In my eyes, I would say either first best or best or second best. But Jim Otto is the second member of the center's Mount Rushmore. Next, let's go with Dwight Stevenson. So Stevenson was selected in the second round, 48th overall in the 1980 NFL Draft. He was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 19. 1998. Unfortunately, played just eight seasons in the NFL. Um, retired after 1987, uh, after a left knee injury against the Jets. Uh, but in that somewhat short span, he had an incredible career. Uh, 114 games. He was named to the Pro Bowl each of his last five seasons and was a four time and a first team All Pro in each of his last four seasons. From 1982 to 1987, six straight seasons, the Dolphins allowed the fewest sacks. Of course, uh, Stevenson was a part of that. Um, he made two Super Bowls with the Dolphins. Unfortunately, they lost them both, but part of the Hall of Fame All-1980s All-Decade team in the NFL's 100th anniversary all-time team, Miami Dolphins honor roll, uh, even was named the NFL Man of the Year in 1985. Uh, Dwight Stevenson was also named AFC Offensive Lineman by the NFLPA five consecutive times 
from 1983 to 1987, despite the short career. And originally, uh, well, it was really a toss-up between him and one or two other guys I'll name in the honorable mentions, but Dwight Stevenson makes my center's Mount Rushmore. And last, let's go with Iron Mike Webster. Mike Webster was selected by the Steelers in the fifth round, 125th all overall in the 1974 NFL Draft. He was inducted in the Hall of Fame in 1997. Played his first 15 seasons with the Steelers before playing his final two with the Chiefs. All in all, played in 245 games, starting 217 of them. He was named to eight straight Pro Bowls from 1978 to 1985. Also named to a ninth in 1987. Uh, was a five-time first-team All-Pro, including four straight seasons from 1978 to 1981. Of course, Webster was a part of some excellent Pittsburgh Steelers teams. Steelers kind of ran the 1970s, and he won four Super Bowls with the team. He is in the Pittsburgh Steelers Hall of Honor, was a part of the NFL 75th anniversary and 100th anniversary all-time teams unfortunately passed away at the young age of 50 in 2002 but mike webster's legacy shall live on and he is on my center's mount rushmore so again alphabetical order by last name we have mel hine jim otto Dwight stevenson and mike webster now the guy i thought long and hard about putting on and was really between him and stevenson was dermonte dawson longtime stealer some other, uh, other honorable mentions include Bulldog Turner, Jeff Saturday, Alex Mack, Kevin Mawai, Jim Langer, Jim Ringo, and Nick Tinglehoff. So there you have it, the Mount Rushmore for centers. Let me know in the comments if you agree, disagree, who would be on your centers, Mount Rushmore. We have finished all the offensive positions. So tomorrow we will be moving on to defense. After that, I'll do special teams, kicker, punters, probably uh, returners, and end with four best head coaches. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, subscribe. Like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.